Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my new perception plugin, which I've developed with meter plugs, to find the loudness sweet spot for your music. And that's the name I give to the perfect balance between dynamics, light and shade, loud and soft, and loudness, which is important to make sure your music stands up against the best of the best out there and translates well between the widest possible range of replay systems. And the easiest way to explain what Perception does is to actually show you. So here's one of the songs that I mastered as part of the Home Mastering Masterclass course. It's called Behold by my good friend Joe Gilder. I have a level boost in there, I have some EQ, and I have a little bit of gentle multiband compression, and then in the master output I have a limiter. So here's how this clip is sounding at the moment. And that's sounding pretty good to me, but if I want to know how it sounds without all that processing that I have, I have to turn all of these off, and when I do, the level will drop considerably. And because of the way our ears work, sounds that are louder automatically sound as though they have more bass and treble in them. Even if I play you two identical files, if there's one of them that's slightly louder, chances are that's the one you'll pick as sounding better. So when there's a level difference like this, it makes it very hard for us to make a fair comparison. Is the extra processing I'm adding to this track making it sound better, or is it just because it's louder? So in the past, the way that I would have answered that question would be to duplicate this clip and paste in another copy of it. And in one of them I have the processing enabled, and in the other one I don't. Then I would need to turn down the level of the version that has all the extra processing to try and match the original volume and flick between the two. which works reasonably well, but it's quite a time-consuming, laborious process. Particularly if I suddenly decide, well, I want to go back and tweak the settings in the processed file, and then I would have to redo that level balancing. And the art of level balancing two songs is a tricky one. When the EQ and the dynamic control, the compression and the limiting on two different versions of the same song are different, what is the right level match? Perception solves all of these problems for us. So let me show you how it works. Perception is actually two plugins. The first is a source module, Perception Source, which we insert right at the beginning of the effects chain. The second module is usually put in the master output section and is called the Perception Controller. And here's the interface here. Now, as soon as I start playing this clip, the source module will listen to the loudness of this clip and the controller module will listen to the loudness after all of the processing and after thinking for a few seconds will allow us to balance the two. So let me show you that. So you can see the balance button there turn from grey to white. Perception has calculated the level difference between those two clips as 9.6 dBs and now I can balance them. So the quieter one is turned up, the louder one is turned down to avoid any clipping, and now we can bypass all of that processing with a single click. So there's the original file. And that's my current mastered version. And instead of all that messing about with duplicated clips and disabling and enabling plugins and matching the loudness by ear, Perception has given us an instant A-B comparison of the clip before and after the processing. So we can make a really fair comparison and decide whether or not we like what's happening. 
Now you probably heard that there was a little skip in the audio there. That's because I'm using a linear phase EQ, which has some latency built into it. And because I find those kind of skips distracting when I'm trying to make judgments, Perception has a sync feature, which we can enable, which will calculate the latency difference from all the plugins in the chain, any plugin chain you care to come up with, and compensate for it. So let's do that. It mutes temporarily while the sync offset is calculated. And now we can bypass with no offset. Let's skip along to the loudest part of the song. And you can see that Perception is constantly updating the loudness estimate or the difference in loudness between the two clips. And we can rebalance at any point. It turns orange there to show me that there's enough of a distance that I should probably rebalance. Once you get over a difference of half a dB, it goes red. So there's the unmastered version. And there's the mastered version. Perception is also giving us an indication of the peak to loudness ratio. That's a number that's very similar to the reading the TT meter gives us and gives us similar feedback on the crest factor of the music, but both before and after the processing. And as a rule of thumb, if you avoid going below 8 too often on the post section of the peak to loudness ratio, you're going to be in great shape. So Perception lets us instantly bypass all the effects in our processing chain and hear a level matched comparison so that we can hear absolutely clearly what those changes are and whether or not we like them. And that's the kind of perspective that a mastering engineer has. And that's why we say that Perception allows you to hear your music like a mastering engineer. And the loudness in this case is being measured using the EBU R128 standard. That's an internationally agreed standard which is being used for radio and TV broadcast in Europe and the US. In fact, it's a legal requirement in the US. And similar systems are being used by iTunes Radio and Spotify and probably your MP3 player. So Perception gives you a real-world comparison for your audio. You don't have to learn the skill of level matching that takes mastering engineers years and still has a degree of opinion involved with it. These are the numbers that in future are going to be used to judge your music and you're hearing a real objective comparison. So bypassing the effects there, I was quite pleased with the way that they sounded, but I did wonder how it would sound if I actually lifted the level of this song even more. It's mastered fairly conservatively by modern standards. And Perception allows us to test that as well. I can go down here and increase the source gain. So the song's going to get louder. So let's hear that. And you can see the peak to loudness ratio is more restricted over here on the TT team meter and on Perception's display itself. And of course it sounds louder, so we need to rebalance and Perception is showing us that the loudness balance needs to be updated. So let's click balance. So now I can instantly preview how this song would sound if it were mastered hotter. And we can also store these options as snapshots in order to compare them even more easily. So let's store this hotter version of the master in snapshot 2. Then we'll go back to the original source gain. And rebalance. And store that in snapshot one. 
now I can instantly change between those two options. Here's the hotter version. Here's the more dynamic master. And here's the original. So perception allows us to hear our music like a mastering engineer and instantly compare multiple versions of a single song with different levels of dynamic control to find the perfect balance of dynamics and loudness the loudness sweet spot for our music. I'm demonstrating it in WaveLab, but it'll work with any popular door, and you can use the same strategies in any genre. And if you want to bring in a reference track, something that you would like to emulate or compare your music with, all you need to do is drop an instance of the Metaplug's Perception source module onto that clip, play some of the music, and click the balance button, and that clip will immediately be level matched with your music as well. So you can do a fair comparison between multiple reference sources and your own music. And that means you can make your music sound the best it can be, which is the goal of mastering. So I hope you found that interesting and useful. For more information on Perception, head over to perceptionplugin.com and check it out. There's a whole host of other ways you can use Perception and I'll be doing more videos to show those to you. And if you have any questions, please get in touch and I'll be glad to help. My name is Ian Shepherd. Thanks for listening.